Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing this really neutral look here, um, and I'm going to be doing this for people who would like to learn how to do makeup for a job interview or something different to wear to work. Um, this is for people who are more experienced with wearing makeup, they know how to do all the basics, um, blending, applying the eyeshadow, the lid increase, and outer corner color and all, that thi and all those things. Um, I will be making a video for people who have probably never used makeup in their entire life, um, who are getting a job or have a job interview and they just want to make sure that they look really nice and neat and professional. Um, actually the reason I started wearing makeup is because I got a job. So, um, I will be doing a beginner's tutorial for job makeup shortly after this one. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the look. It's just a really neutral, pretty much it's, it's everything neutral. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this and find this helpful, and if you want to see how to do it, then keep watching. So the first thing you want to do is apply some sort of a primer. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion. I just put it in this little Bare Minerals container because I wanted to get the rest of the product out. And then you want to apply some sort of a skin tone base. This one is Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Okay, and the next thing that you want to do, or the next thing that I'm going to do, is take Urban Decay's Eyeshadow in Ruthless. Um, this is one of their deluxe eyeshadows. It's just a really pretty pale taupe kind of color. And it's extremely, extremely neutral. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. Okay, next I'm going to take my favorite brush for um, crease work stuff, applying crease color. This is the MAC 217, and I'm going to take the darker shade from the NARS Portobello Duo. And I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye, just right here. And then I'm going to sweep it up into my crease. And when applying your crease color, you want to go from the outside part and just do windshield wiper motion sweeping in. Um, since this is a really neutral color, I'm sweeping it all the way in, and also I find that this works best on my eye shape. If you find that it looks better if you don't go all the way in, then don't. Um, but you also want to make sure that you start on the outside point of your eye when you have the most color on your brush, just so that you have the most color focused on the outer part, because you don't want it to be super, super dark right there in the inner part of your eye. That'll make you look really tired. Okay, next you want to take a little pencil brush of some sort. This one is a Sigma 219. Um, I actually like this one better because it's a little bit fluffier than the MAC one. The MAC one is very, very stiff, um, although that one is more pointed, so I like it for going under the lash line. But I'm also going to take a uh, Max Brun, or B-R-U-N, I don't know, that's, that's how you say it. It's kind of a more... Um, it's a very neutral brown. I would almost say that it's a gray tone brown. Um, but you just want to use this to define your outer V. So I'm going to put this on the outer point of my eye and sweep it in just a little bit, like the tiniest bit, only about that much, and then drag that outer corner down. And you can also drag it in just across that outer part of the lash line, and that'll give your eye a really nice shape. And then after you do that, you just want to keep blending the color in. And then just to help out with the blending, take a fluffy brush and just kind of lightly go over that outer V color. And then I like to take my crease color and just go over it a little bit. I find that it helps it blend in better. And when I blended in the outer V color, I did actually wind up taking it almost to the inside of my iris. Um, you don't have to keep it just on the outer part of your eye. Um, it just depends on what looks best on your eye shape. Okay, and now for a highlight, I'm going to use a skin tone color. This is Blank Type from MAC, and I'm going to use, this is my favorite brush for highlight. It's the MAC 227. You can also just use a fluffy brush that works just as well. Okay, and then with that brush, um, it does tend to pull the color down quite a bit, so I just go over my crease again just to make sure that that color stays vibrant. Next for eyeliner, I'm going to take uh, my Stila Smudge Pot in brown, which is just a really dark brown liner. 
Um, I actually put on another eyeliner, but it wasn't as dark as the one as this one, which is the one that I usually use. So I'm just going to go over it with this because I like the way this looks better. So I'm just going to apply that with an ankle brush. And then for the lower lash line, all I do is take the brush, hold it this way. I just kind of lift it up under my lower lashes. And I press it along. This is really hard to do on the camera. Press it along my lower lash line, and then I smudge it out with a finger. Okay, and then once you have your mascara on, I will be right back to show you what you can do with the rest of your face. So on my cheeks, I just have my Bare Minerals Clear Radiance all over, all over face color. Yeah, that. Um, and then I applied a little bit of bronzer to give myself a little bit more color because I'm really pale. And I used NARS uh, Bronzer in Irresistiblement, which is my favorite bronzer. Um, and that pretty much finishes the look. I didn't really do anything for a lip. Um, right now I'm wearing a little bit of chapstick, but that's all. So this is what the finished look is like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. And another thing um, that I don't actually have to do, just make sure your brows are uh, nice and neat. If you have to fill in your brows or apply brow wax or anything like that, then you want to do that after you finish your eyeshadow and everything. Um, I find that having nice, clean, neat eyebrows for a job interview or going to work makes you look a lot more professional. Because if you have really like crazy, unruly eyebrows, I, I don't know. I, personally, I don't think that looks very neat at all. It and you want to have a neater appearance when you go to work. So, yeah, thank you again for watching. Thank you so, so much to each and every single one of you who has subscribed. I really, really, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for that. And if you haven't subscribed and you would like, like to, I believe the button is on this side. It's that lovely little yellow button that says subscribe. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be excellent and I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.